Hello, I'm Ethan, or Captain Ethan Whitehall, Company D, 2nd U.S. Sharpshooters. Today's video we're going to be talking about the officer's field desk, or at least what I keep in my field desk uh, that was mentioned in a previous video about my tent. So if you'd like to come inside. So this is my officer's field desk. It's uh, a field modified, obviously, from a hardtack crate that would have been made by our company woodworker for Sergeant Kep. So it's a keyhole lock to keep, uh, make sure that it is kept secure. Drops down. When this drops down, I have a flat writing surface. So any paperwork I'd be filling out would have been on this. And each compartment I have is specified for each certain aspect of my field desk. So starting from left to right, I have Oath of Allegiance, so any soldier enlisting into the Union Army would have to sign these. And I have quite a few of them. However, they're not on period correct paper, but that will be fixed eventually. I have uh, reports for issues of packages. Uh, this one would have been abstract materials expended and consumed by the company. So things like ammunition, rifles, uh, musket caps. Uh, this one is more on the uh, aspect of ordnance, everything like that. These are just receipts and enlistment papers. So obviously soldiers would be enlisting, they had to fill out a sheet of paper uh, signifying their enlistment into the Union Army. More things on the back like that. And of course, company reports because the Army runs on paperwork and to make sure everyone's here, present, for duty, everything like that, we'd have uh, morning reports. These would be used and sent at reenactments to our battalion. However, I do have a book of company reports, and this is more to keep track uh, for our personal use within Company D of who is at events, just to see, you know, promotions, everything like that for people, attendance. And our next compartment, um, don't mind the whole plastic wrap, I know it's Farby, but do have uh, Sharps cartridge box labels uh, for when we make more, and an NCO warrant for whenever we uh, promote someone to a non-commissioned officer. I do have it in the kind of the Farby plastic just to keep it nice and clean. <clears throat> schedules for our reenactments obviously we can't remember everything that's gonna be going on in the day so we do have those as well as our company uh, rules standing orders and our drill schedule again we have a lot going on through the day so we can't keep track of everything that we're supposed to be going through so this is a nice little reference and I highly suggest them to any company commanders or for sergeants that do have busy days and their battalion likes to keep them busy Moving to the upper compartments, I have passes, so soldiers leaving camp would have to have these signed by me, a first sergeant, uh, anyone who's in command of the company, they'd leave camp with these, they would have to return camp with these to prove that they were actually permitted to leave camp. On, I do have manuals, uh, ordnance and ordnance stores and quarterly returns, basically a, a field guide to help me fill out my paperwork and do my duties as a company commander. A system of target practice. Uh, this can be seen in one of the previous videos that we shot last year about target rifles and target rifle boxes. Um, again, I'm an officer. I should know how to use my men and especially with long distance shooting properly as sharpshooters. More field manuals because officer has to have manuals. I got to keep busy up to snuff on our drill. So I have guides post. Parade inspection and evolutions of the infantry battalion. Instructions for garden pickets. These are very valuable books, very quick reads, but very, very high in information, especially for company commanders that possibly may have to uh, take a step up, uh, fill in for a wing commander, a major, possibly a colonel, if there's none present at an event for whatever reason. And then, yet again, more manuals. For my manuals, I have the 1863 U.S. Infantry Tactics, a must-have for any officer, the 1865 Customs of Service for Officers of the Army by August V. Kautz, 
a very hard book to get which is loaded with all sorts of information for uh, having a proper size camp, spacings, but also just overall health of the soldier. It's the Camp and Outpost Duty of 1862 by uh, General Dan Butterfield. Of course, Casey's Infantry Tactics, must have for any reenactor. I suggest this from company grade, battalion, down to the lowly infantry private. And of course, to keep up with the whole look of a Civil War soldier, I do have a pocket testament. Um, obviously, soldiers would have been highly religious, including officers. Uh, however, one of my favorite things that was taught by my grandfather was the drill manual and the Bible. This will save your life, but this will save your ass. So moving on and downward, as I put my collection away. I have a few other small little pocket manuals that were printed out for me by the company for a sergeant. And there's just instructions for skirmishers, uh, manual of arms and rifle tactics of 1863, um, another reprint of guards, pickets, and camp marches, and battalion drill. Again, very handy to have. Officers cannot have enough manuals. I know many officers just go by one manual and they're stuck to that, which is okay, but we like to cover every basis in Company D. So moving down to the other one, if I do not have my oil lamp, I do at least have a pocket lantern. And this just folds open, a little candle pops out, set it right there on my desk, and the brightness of the inside of the tin actually reflects light back, and I can still do my duties as an officer, filling out paperwork. I have spare candles. And of course, a nice little flask of whatever I'd like to be drinking that night. Sometimes whiskey, sometimes rum, but never too much so it doesn't impede my duties as an officer. Just enough, uh, just after a long day, it's always nice to have a little bit. Or officer NCO meetings, I like to you know, do a little toast like that with my NCOs. Make sure that they know that I know they're doing a good job, which they always are. Moving over. For special occasions, I have this black silk cravat. I don't like tying ties. I've never been good at it, so it's just a little class one, but seldom used, but for special occasions, usually battalions call me off to do some duty like they always like to do. So of course, dress occasions, I have my button board. Uh, there's a video of uh, First Sergeant kept making these in his wood shop can never have enough of these. These are amazing little things to have, especially for polishing buttons. Of course, as sharpshooters, I don't like polishing my buttons, but there are occasions where I have to. This little drawer, can never have enough pencils. Have a gum eraser and a good variety of pens, ink wells, ink mixer, powdered ink. Um, all these things can actually be found at the cellar of Fort Scott, a great place to find uh, period correct pens, pencils, everything like that, especially for an officer's impression where you're filling out paperwork. Um, a couple other weird little random things I have is spare core badges for new members coming into the unit. Uh, we do give these out as kind of a, a rite of passage, so to speak. I have my officer's core badge, uh, since we don't do post Gettysburg events all the time, I don't usually have this sewn onto my uniform, uh, but eventually there'll be a use for it. I do have uh, a spare signal whistle on the field. Uh, currently we don't have a bugler in Company D, but if you are a bugler and you want to join us, let us know, because we'd love to have you. And just a pocket telescope. Uh, I do have my set of field glasses in my target rifle box. But every now and then, a backup is always handy to have. And a instruction for um, a field box that I have that is actually my officer's field, uh, field haversack. And basically it's just uh, a stomach pill, um, even though it's just little candies, but I do keep actual modern medications in it. Tylenol, Advil, allergy meds, that sort of thing. So that is what inside my officer's field desk. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment. 
If you like what you've seen so far, please subscribe and we will see you all later.